Yeah, no problem. <laughs> and it's hot. Yeah, that just made Dad's life a lot easier. Sure. <laughs> like, can't be tightened. That needs to be tightened. Hi, Eric. For it to work. Hi. Thanks for coming to help me today. Yeah, I was basically just cameraman, though. This is Ernie. He's Eric's best friend from middle, no, high, elementary school. Elementary school, thank you. And you've put up with Eric a long time. Of course, put up is very accurate. He's put up with you too, so it's yeah. probably mutual. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, fellas. That was pretty good, though. I was let's, that was pretty cool. Let's go. Hey, so I don't know what you can see, but right now, if I have any hopes of, uh, where am I? There, there I am. Hey, if I got any hopes of getting this um, engine to start this spring, uh, I gotta get these old batteries out of here. So, sorry, I don't have a cameraman. Uh, I have disconnected and labeled anything that I've taken out. Uh, these are green and red, but they were both connected to a hot battery somewhere. So, I've marked everything. You can see this one has a little bit of red tape on it. There was another one. This one here that was absolutely green. But it was also going too hot, so I've labeled it. I think you can see that. Just put H's on them. And then later when I put batteries back in, I'll be able to look around and find everything that has an H. So, the first battery I got out back here, I did it with just brute force and not a lot of engineering. Because they're really, really heavy. Let's see. The second battery, I got smarter, and I'll show you what I did. Get a few things out of the way here. I think some of these wires are bilge pump wires. It's on top of that wire, so I guess it's going to stay. I'm gonna have to figure out where to go with this battery. I'm gonna go on top of the other ones. So what I did was I took a piece of line and I made a big loop. And uh, basically threaded it through the two handles. So I didn't have to bend down so far. And then, stuck my hands in here like that. Is it heavy? Absolutely. Oh. I need some help getting these out though. Get them out of the boat that is. Alright, so I got one more to get. I'll have to go somewhere. This was another problem with this design was these batteries were under here so you really couldn't Top them back off, or even check them, which is not a very good idea. Whew. Well, let's probably mark that one as a hot too. connected to something here. Let's get through here. Through here. Back again. I'll slide it this way.
So it's four big mother batteries. Anybody wants to look them up, that's what they were. And they're heavy. So one thing I was curious about was if it's possible to put these through this forward hatch on a winch. Looks like they're going to be probably 21 inches. Question is, the 21 inches get through here, and I could use the halyard to lift these babies out of here. And wow, it would be really tight. I'd probably have to take that hardware off right there. But they would go through here, huh? And then I could use the halyard from the mast. To lift them out. All right, Let's see that or I go that way. Got to decide. Yeah, exactly. That's. <laughs> Sounds like it's just up and onto the ladder, and then just hold it for. We're just I'm gonna let it slide down. We'll let it both go at the same time evenly. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. So it's not gonna go. <laughs> yeah. You gotta pull a little. Yeah. And kind of. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trading. No, oh, man. I'll just start with soon. Hopefully it doesn't. That's, all. That's what I don't want to do. Okay. Okay. What else can I do? Dang. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Repeat. The eagle has landed. <laughs> it kept, it, it, if you can get it perfectly. I don't think I'll stay, yeah. Yeah. I got that right below me, is it? Yeah. It's staying, so we'll have to go that way a little bit, maybe as we okay. keep going down. Ready? Okay. Yep. Let's give it a shot. Secure. Bad is going through. <laughs> You're right, I'm ahead of you. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get it up like this. I need it to be up here, but uh, it's just too heavy. That's been working so far. All right, screw it. Just one more. Of course. This is going to be the heaviest. 
is one of all of them. Oh, man. Oh, God. This is a speed fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smooth. Set my hands on fire on that one. Oh, my God. I had to just kind of get knots and... Well, hard. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> what else? Uh, we need a ladder now. And we need a ladder. Tarp on it. I wanna... And then we gotta load those on yeah, the trailer. Yeah, and then trailer. we gotta go on the trailer. Yep. Woo! 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 Okay, ladder us. Mr. C. <laughs> wait, wait, you guys want to get down? Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? We're yeah. stuck up here. Yeah, we need the ladder. <laughs> I don't know, you guys could like running jump onto the Choi Lee and then uh And then do it. And then climb down the ladder. A flying monkey. So you're not gonna get us a ladder? No. Oh, oh come on man. Make us run for us. We're good. We'll be fine. <laughs> That I didn't grab it. <laughs> yeah. It's sitting in a little bit of hole, so I'm gonna uh, fix the foot over here. Yeah. yeah it's in the battery. Tiny yeah. shoes. Oh, tiny shoes? Tiny shoes. Gloves. No Velcro shoes, apparently. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Just what? get Velcro shoes. Just get Velcro shoes. Hey, man. Screw you. Then you're you can. Both, <laughs> you're both. You're both. Both wearing lace shoes. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry. Ropes will just keep. Close. Yeah. I'm gonna need those gloves anyway. To move these, and then we're. All right. Gonna, how we're are we gonna? We we'll just carry them over. Yeah, just carry them over. You're not gonna secure them. Well, 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 we're gonna have to do something when they're on there. I might put them at the very back. Just put them in the back. I doubt they'll move that much. Yeah, because chances are I might do a burnout on the way out of here or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't need to be in the back. <laughs> Good day's work, fellas. Oh, my God. It was a mistake to, to turn the these off. Going all the way Why did I turn these off? Take these off. Okay. I really only need one, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Shall I just head on home? Yep. Line them up like this. No wasp. No wasp. Dang. No wasp bitten. We need to put these back up there. We need tarps. We're digging. Grab them. Yeah, I got them. My handy hand hurts. Handy hands. My handy hands. I might actually take these ones back with me. Yeah, sure. Whatever, man. I need something real good. Elegant. <laughs> <laughs> like you done it 20 times. <laughs> Twice. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Bungee cords? Yeah. Right there? Uh, yeah. They're laying in the cockpit. Yep. I see them. I'm not really sure which I have where, though. Yeah. All I'm really trying to do is have a couple of ports open so the air flows through. Yeah. And keeps the thing from building up humidity inside. Yeah. Woo! You want to bring it on top, Green Block? I think it's big enough. I think it is. Yeah. I like this, I like this place because it comes out of nowhere. 
church. We were left at the church. Right, yeah. <laughs> and now look, it's a beautiful day. We were getting to the point where we were like, all right, we were, we were promised 45 minutes. <laughs> Feels like it's been a lot longer. We both got well, I looked, it was, uh, it was, it was something 22 when we were at Erica Mall there. Uh, and, and then the GPS said 106 when we were going to get here, so we got pretty close to 45. Any short bungee cords up there? Yes. There's a couple of They're old. But yeah. yeah, so apparently they don't give you any kind of strap when you get golf cart batteries, so I'm using bungee cords and I'm alternating the way they're hooked. Oh. Like that. And these are the two I'm mainly carrying them off of, but then I got two more under here that are. What I would consider my safety, I guess. And I can grab onto it also. Don't have my tripod today. Don't have a cameraman today. I'll make filming a little more difficult. But I already took one in the boat like this and it worked. So we're on to number two. Alright, the first one was really light. The second one seemed heavier. The third one was heavier. I got one more to go. So here's the four batteries. Put them back in here. So everything is hooked back up now. I did uh, miss these two ground wires right here. They were looped over the edge and, and I didn't see them so my sump pump didn't work originally. Sump pump. <laughs> Build pump. Some pump is in the house. Uh, so they didn't work initially, but I got that figured out. Once I figured out the pump actually worked when I bypassed the ground, so I knew I had a ground problem. And I used my tester over here for trying to figure out if I had a, a hot problem. And I knew I had hot, so I just had to figure that out. So everything's good. Uh, I'm going to put this floor back on. Next will be the tank for the fuel that goes over there. And then I also have an alternator and a regulator to install. And then we'll see if we can get this thing to run. Haven't got as much done this year as I'd hoped. I've just been too busy. Just too busy. Too many things going on. But I feel like this is progress. Those big batteries. Getting them switched out was uh, weighing heavy on the mind. Not a whole lot's changed up here. Let's hang that up, I guess. stair back I had taken this up to uh, trace wires oh, Mickey Mouse town is not looking too healthy anymore.
bungee cords for the uh, batteries worked well. If I'd had four of these little short ones, I probably would have done that instead of these big long ones. But these are pretty big, heavy duty ones, and I've used them on my ladder rack a lot, so I figured they would be good. I guess that's just going to keep reading 12 volume with the battery switch off. It's interesting. That's the AC power coming in. I have only the one of the two hooked up right now. So I borrowed one of them. <laughs> one of my connectors. All right, well, I guess I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. What are you doing? Charlie. You can't go up the stairs. You can't go up the stairs. What happened, Charlie? Pretty sure you're not getting through now, are you? Nope, not a chance.